Hello friend, today is finally the day we're gonna chit chat about the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It is starting very soon next week. I'll put the dates here on the screen in case you need to figure out what day you can shop still. But in today's video, we are chatting about the preview. I wanted to share my thoughts, my initial wish list, also some fashion trends that we'll be seeing this fall. So it's just a good overview of what's to come for the sale. I will also be chatting a little bit more about what you can expect from me. I will be doing Strawberry Chic and Sale Week again this year. If you haven't joined me for a previous Nordstrom anniversary sale, get ready because it's a lot of fun here on my channel. During Strawberry Chic and Sale Week, I will be uploading a new video here on my channel every single day from July 7th through July 14th. And I already have pre-plans on what type of content I'm gonna be sharing for those days. I'll also put that on screen if you're curious what's to come, but do keep in mind that schedule can change just depending on inventory and what I get in and I might come up with another idea, but that's what I'm planning for now. Usually I do a shoe review here on my channel, but I'm actually gonna be moving that over to Instagram. So I will be sharing different content on both platforms just to cover different things, I guess. So if you're not following me on Instagram, my handle is strawberrychicxo. I also know I'll be planning to do a jean review over there as well. And of course we'll be doing giveaways and there's just so much fun to come. So I'm excited to be kicking off Nordstrom sale here on my channel today with the preview. Before we get started with the preview, I also wanted to give you a heads up that the fifth annual lookbook for the Nordstrom anniversary sale will be going out to newsletter subscribers on July 2nd. I don't have a time frame for that. I am currently working on it. It's gonna be a good one, y'all. I look forward to putting this lookbook together for you every single year. It started five years ago with 100 fall outfits from the sale and it has grown exponentially since then and I think hopefully it gets better and better each year. This year's lookbook is gonna have a variety of styles. If you have any specific requests for me, do let me know because I'll be finishing that up as this video goes live. But if you have not received a lookbook from me in the past, I would, I would be so sad if you missed it, honestly, because it is one of the best fashion content pieces. I don't even know what to, how to describe it, but it is probably one of the best I want to say it's not a work of art, but to me it kind of is because I just put so much hours and love into it. It just serves as the ultimate outfit inspiration. Basically, I will have ideas for you to start wearing now pretty much all the way until next spring with this lookbook. So it's basically just outfit collages with outfit ideas styled from the anniversary sale. And I can guarantee you there's gonna be a lot of things in that lookbook that you definitely missed if you were previewing the sale. I am so thorough when it comes to the sale. I go through every page multiple times. I go through different brands. I'm just very thorough. So I can guarantee you I found some really good hidden gems in there and they sort of stand out differently once you see them styled in that lookbook. So I highly recommend getting your copy. It is completely free. Everything inside is linkable so that means when you receive the copy you can click on any product inside and it will take you directly to that product now those links are affiliate links so that is how i kind of justify spending so much time on it and that's how you can support me during the nordstrom sale if you would like to support my content and what i put out each year i am shining bright like a diamond in the lighting but i'm just gonna let it go so thank you again if you're back here joining me for another sale and if you are new i am so excited that you're here we have lots of good stuff to come. Okay, I've rambled enough. Y'all know I get so excited about the sale. Let's chat about the preview. So my overall initial thoughts is the sale, although I feel like I still see comments where people kind of complain that the sale is the same every single year and I just, maybe I'm just a stan probably, but I just don't think that's the case, especially this year. It seems like they really mixed it up this year and there's definitely an emphasis on more modernized, elevated basics. There's barely any cardigans. You know, we used to always see that color blocked Madewell cardigan, for example, and things like that. There were a little bit more trendy, like, you know, leopard prints and lots of floral prints. And I feel like this year it's really elevated to those simple basics. 
And I also think there is a pretty good variety of seasonal pieces that you can even wear now. I think that's something newer that they added into the sale last year and into this year. There are of course some much anticipated favorites back again this year. My first top recommendation if you're curious, I will be sharing more recommendations next week for Strawberry Chic and Sale Week. But my number one recommendation would absolutely be the Reese Camel Wrap Coat. I was so glad that they brought this one back. This has been a top seller for the past two years. And I know last year it sold out very quickly. Like I was pretty surprised. I think it sold out on Ambassador Day, which is the second day of the sale. So I was glad that they brought this one back because I know a lot of you still wanted to get your hands on it. And this is one of the best investment pieces that I have made in my wardrobe. I've had my Reese coat for two years and it's just a piece I have so much confidence in year after year. I'm going to be reaching for this coat. It is so chic and classic, but at the same time, it's very versatile because it can be dressed up or down. I love to throw this over athleisure like joggers if I'm running errands and it just elevates it, but it also looks great dressed up for a nice evening as well. And then another favorite, I know this is also going to be a really hot item in the sale, the mother jeans, specifically the hustler jean. This is a style of jean that I'm a big fan of. I own it in the white wash and a very dark wash. If you do not have or have not tried this brand out, I cannot recommend them anymore. The fit is amazing. They don't stretch out. They fit my butt perfectly, like the pocket placement and all of that is so good. So I definitely would recommend these as well. And I was excited to see uh, this style back again this year. Probably the biggest disappointment for me in the preview was the handbag selection. I of course did not expect Tori Birch to be back again this year. I know last year that was again my biggest disappointment probably with the preview. So I definitely wasn't expecting them to be back, but I was expecting a little more from the handbag selection if I'm being honest. I think there was only one style that I was even like especially drawn to. I feel like the coach options while they are very classic and I love coach. I actually worked at coach in college. So it always has a place in my heart, but it just seems very similar to what was offered last year, except for the color option. It's a little bit deeper. Um, I still think it's a great option if you don't have something similar, but if you bought one last year, the handbag selection in general is kind of lacking. There are a lot of casual belt bags, but again, in my wardrobe, I have a lot of belt bags, so I don't necessarily need any more. I do think they're great, but just a little more casual than what I was hoping for. All right, the shoe department definitely was a little bit different than I was expecting, and I guess that's a good and bad thing. For one, it seemed much more slimmed down, just like how I mentioned overall, the styles in the sale are a little more like elevated essentials and more modernized that carried into the shoes as well. We didn't see nearly as many options in the booties like we have in the past. Not in my opinion, there wasn't as many trendy boots. There are definitely some trendy flats and we will get into some fall trends here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think just the selection in general from brands like Steve Madden and Dolce Vita and even Vince Camuto, they just didn't have as many options as I was expecting and that we've had in years past. There were definitely a lot of sneaker options in the sale this year. I was kind of shocked how many on shoes there were in the sale this year, but for me, I wasn't particularly drawn to the color options for most of them, which I was kind of bummed about, but I'm sure some people are. Um, but yeah, that was just kind of another disappointment for me there, but there is a pair of shoes that I will be grabbing in the sale. I looked at a similar one last year, kind of hesitated on it and it sold out the first day during Icon. So I think these are going to be a quick seller again this year, but they are on my wish list and I definitely plan to pick them up. I have not tried New Balance, but they are very trendy right now. The beauty department was pretty much what I was expecting. They do keep the beauty brands fairly similar. Obviously there's different color options, but at the same time, we have a pillow talk set again for beauty, which I think is the fourth year straight. Now, don't get me wrong. I think it's a great universal color. I have it. I still wear it. I wear the lip liner all the time, but it would have been nice to see something a little bit different. I know there are some sets from Mac as well. And I love that they did 
like I think these are some of their best selling colors Velvet Teddy, um, the red Ruby Woo, I think it's called, and then Snob maybe is the other color. And those have been very popular shades from MAC, so it's nice that you can kind of not think about what liner will go with it, and it's kind of a nice good set. One thing from Beauty Kind of Random that is on my wish list is this, I don't know what they call it, I probably should look at the description, but it is this, <laughs> I was gonna call it a pore cleaner outer. <laughs> my camera died at a very interesting time, but I have been looking at this device actually last month because I got a facial and she used it on my nose and chin and it definitely was very effective. I like that it just kind of cleans out those clogged pores without being aggressive like squeezing would. And it comes in pink, so hello. That's something I'm really excited to pick up this year. I should also mention in the lookbook, I do go ahead and put not just outfit ideas, but I also make collages as far as what's on my wish list. So I will have it finalized for that. Um, toddler picks, top sellers, predicted bestsellers. I also rounded up things that I already own that are included in the sale. So it just has a lot of good stuff in there, if I do say so myself. So I would definitely get your copy. Okay, so let's chat about some fashion trends that we will be seeing this upcoming fall based on this year's preview. The first fashion trend is stripes. That was definitely a very common print that I saw throughout the preview. Lots of striped sweaters, sleeveless sweaters, which is another big trend. I have actually been styling sleeveless sweaters a lot recently, so if you're looking for outfit ideas there, head over to my LTK. That's where pretty much anything that I have outfit-wise or any purchase goes in LTK. And that's where my try on haul will go first. I'm actually, I have an assistant this year, which is gonna make things a lot easier. So she's gonna be uploading my outfits pretty much as soon as I film them. So if you wanna see stuff first, it will be on my LTK. I always have that linked in the description box below. There's gonna be a lot down there. I just need to stop repeating that and just go check it out. And I'll, I'll also pin it to a top comment as well. This is why I have to make outlines for these videos because I just, I just get so excited for this sale. <laughs> okay, another trend is collared sweaters. I saw this a lot in the sale, even with like thinner weight sweaters, sort of deeper V sweaters, button sweaters were still a very popular item too. Let's talk about denim a little bit. No surprise that wide leg denim is the biggest trend for the upcoming fall season. I did find a few skinny jean options at a really great price point, so they are still out there, y'all. And I feel like you need a skinny jean when you wanna wear a knee-high boot. It is what it is, okay? They're not out of style. They're just a classic wardrobe need when you wear boots. Anyway, so wide leg jeans, I will be giving a try this year. There are pricier options and I don't think I'm necessarily wanting to spend that much money on a wide leg jean, just knowing I don't reach for jeans as often as I do dresses and things like that. And when I do reach for jeans, I reach for those mother hustler jeans, which are a cropped kind of kick flare style. So I think I wanna go a little bit more on the affordable route with this. So I have found two good options. One is from Cut From The Cloth and the other one is from Madewell. Both are right around $80. So those are some affordable ways to try trends, which is what I personally would rather do. I'm more so, if you're, if you're new to my channel, I focus more on just timeless classic pieces. I really don't try to share what is trending on TikTok or what's currently in or out. I just don't worry about that business and I just wear what I like, which tends to be more girly, classic, neutral, and timeless. So yeah, if you're looking for like the trendiest stuff, I'm not necessarily your girl, but hey, we're done. we can at least talk about it and I can share what is currently on trend. Another trend I noticed was the lower kitten heels. And I did see this from last year with the lower knee high boots from Sam Edelman. They do have a new style. They look pretty identical. So I don't even think I'm gonna be buying them this year. So I bought a style very similar to this knee high boot, which is included in the sale last year. And they were definitely my most reach for knee high boot. And I had 
a lot of y'all asking throughout last season where they were and I felt kind of bad being like I mean I think they were still available but they were full price and I'm like this is why you gotta shop the Nordstrom sale because you get the boots ahead of time and they're on sale and I always get asked about the boots and I know it's July and really hot and some people just don't want to talk about fall or get fall pieces but it just makes so much sense when you can save the money ahead of time. Lots of denim, which is a trend that we've been seeing more so like denim on denim. There was a really cute pair of denim flats that caught my eye. For accessories, silver is still a major trend that you'll be seeing. I saw a couple silver footwear options and handbag options. One trend I definitely think I could see myself integrating. Hello, I actually have it on my nails right now. Red was everywhere in the preview. I love that even Reese jumped on this trend with doing the red wrap coat and even a red suiting option. Kind of unexpected from them because they are a very neutral brand in my opinion. By the way, if you're curious, my go-to red on my nails is Big Apple Red and I did it for 4th of July. I usually just do red for holiday, but I decided to mix it up for 4th of July. But I think I have probably rambled long enough for this video, so if you are still here, you're the best. Thanks for joining me. And stay tuned because we have a lot of fun coming up here on my channel for Strawberry Chic and Sale Week starting next week. Don't forget the lookbook's going out July 2nd. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on it. And let me know your thoughts on the preview down below. Let me know what's on your wish list. Any of your must-haves, just let me know all of the things down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you later this week with my June favorites. Bye.